Hi friends, welcome back to Bucket List Homestead. It is so smoky and bad air quality here today. It's worse than it's been. And I know this is affecting a lot of people. And a lot of us have chickens on the homestead and other animals. And I have been worried, very worried for my chickens. Um, if it's not good for us to breathing in, it can't be good for them. I've been doing tons and tons of research the last day or so to see what I can do. Now, and I normally don't put up two videos in one day because I had a video go up this morning, but I am going to, because we have Starlink, I can actually get this edited and up immediately because I want all of you um, to have some ideas of help on how to help your chickens. Um, Cause I know this smoke is affecting every province in Canada and several states in the state. So I hope this helps too. We have our meat bird chicks in the garage. They're safe. As long as I don't open the garage or um, door or the window, they're very safe in there. You can't smell anything in there. I did debate about making a space in the garage for our girls. And if this goes on much longer, we might have to resort to that. I don't know. But until then, there must be other things that I can do. And there are. Um, I read a great article. Um, I'll try and link it down below if I can find it again because I looked at so many things from a lady who went through this three years ago with wildfires in their area. And she was like me. She couldn't bring her chickens into the house because um, she had, uh, as she put it, a chicken-eating dog <laughs> and a child with severe asthma and couldn't be around the chickens. So I wouldn't bring them in the house necessarily. I put them in the garage, but still. Um, so one of the main things is first thing is make sure they have access to clean, cool water. I do that often anyway, but this with the smoky air, it's even more important than ever. Now the chickens, the main chickens in the main coop, they've got like a steel watering can that covers it. So I'm not as worried about them, but poor Henrietta, who was never accepted back into the original flock, she has an open bowl. We do keep it under the coop. So hopefully no ash will fall on it if they're, cause they're saying we could start having like ash fall, which isn't great. Um, but, I, and she's still, she's recovered, but she's newly recovered. So I'm really worried about her. Um, the other thing is, is using like essential oils and herbs to help keep their airway clean, um, which I'm going to do here in a minute. And also, um, apple cider vinegar in their water. I do that anyway. Um, but definitely do that now. So I don't have all the essential oils I need. I didn't realize I was out of peppermint, but I do have Vet RX, and I ordered this off of Amazon. It was the only place I could find it in our area, and this has a lot of the essential oils in it <laughs> that is recommended to help with airways. It has the tea tree oil. It has the peppermint, so I'm going to use some of that, and to it, I'm going to add some rosemary and some lavender. Um, and I'm just going to put it on, I have these paper towels that I've cut in half. I'm going to kind of put them on here as much as I can and hang it in the coop. Um, I'm also thinking about getting some shavings, clean shavings, and mixing some in that and sprinkling it around the coop. So, let's see if this helps them. some thumbtacks so I can hang up the paper towels with the essential oils and I have some apple cider vinegar I'm bringing out for me so I can change out Henrietta's water. But first we're going to go to what we're calling the mean girls, the ones who won't let her back in. Well they certainly sound like they're good. I mean and maybe I mean I don't think I'm being overly concerned like this, you know, chickens are prone to respiratory issues as it is, but we'll go do Henrietta first. Oh, by the way, our Starlink internet came. Awesome. I got my latest video uploaded <laughs> in no time at all. So, yay. Hi, Henrietta. Hello, hun. Yeah, we're going to give you some clean water. So, you remember, we have her in this temporary ugly looking. Um, if you hear whining, it's just a lacy's mag because I'm not letting her run loose. This ugly looking temporary setup. Um, our plan was this weekend was to work on building. We're going to add on to the, her little coop here that we bought pre-made and we're moving it down here 
we're see where that orange is we're gonna bring out some more fencing and put her and the new chicks that were the new chickens we're getting next week which are 16 to 18 week olds um, I know we should be quarantining them from her and them, but frankly, in an ideal world, we would do that. But she needs a new flock, and we do not have the time or the time to try and build another thing for them, and then in two weeks, put her there too. So I'm, I know I'm taking my chances. She is all healed. We've never had a problem getting chickens from the place we're getting them from. They've always been very healthy, so hopefully things will be okay. But anyway... So the plan is after a couple of weeks, and the chickens can see each other, we're gonna take down the existing piece of fencing that's there right now, this piece right here. David's just gonna cut it away, and then the, all the chickens will have even that much more space. So keep us in your thoughts and prayers that it works. Um, okay, so somehow I gotta figure out how to get in here, because we've got it all zap strapped to hang up some of this into her coop. I think I'll try it from here. got nice cold water a new splash of apple cider vinegar now we're going to go down and hang up this in the mean girls uh coop and see how their water is i'll bring you out some treats later henrietta friends i don't know if you can see this but do you see what i'm seeing that's blue sky we have not seen blue skies in quite a few days here maybe just maybe it's getting better so over here and the poor sun, this is what it looks like. But over here, that looks like blue sky coming out. All right, mean girls, I'm coming to hang some stuff in your coop. <laughs> and check your water. I don't have any treats. Not right now. Unfortunately, the chicks are, the baby chicks are getting all your treats right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come in here and find a place to hang this. Oh, right there, I hung it. I've zoomed in so you can see it. I've hung it on the cross beam so it's close to where they're roosting. So hopefully they'll breathe that in. Now we're going to check their water. They're mad at me because I don't have treats. This is the new water we got because our plastic one broke. And we'd had enough of that. We've had to buy way too many plastic waterers the last year or two. It's nice and cold still, it's clean. Um, and it's also underneath this tarp. We did have an awning for this, but the mice destroyed it over the winter. They got into the actual protective tote we had it in, plus I had it in a Ziploc uh, vacuum seal bag, and they still got into it and destroyed it. But this actually is better. It's bigger, it's white, so it doesn't heat up, and it fits it perfectly, and it's gonna protect their water from ash and their food and their in their oyster shell are in there so okay girls hopefully that helps you I mentioned to my sloggers i wear these in the garden and to the chicken coop this time of year i don't tend to wear the rain boots that go all the way up to my knees because it's just too hot 
um, unless I'm really in the coop cleaning, <laughs> but these are great. They're great for the garden. I got them off Amazon. Mine have chickens on them, but they have all kinds of prints. This is my second year with them. And honestly, they look as good as they did when I first started wearing them. I love them. Highly recommend them. I'll link the description box down below for them. So there, I hope that helps them. I really do. Um, I'm really debating about putting some, um, maybe some mint. I've got a lot growing. Go out and snapping some, uh, snapping some, cutting some, and putting them in their nesting box too because the mint will help with respiratory. And fingers crossed and a lot of prayers, our chickens will make it <laughs> through this smoky, smoky weather, I guess, is the only way to describe it. And hopefully, you know, maybe this will help your chickens too. Until then, folks, take care. God bless. Pray for rain. And we'll see you all soon.